What's going on everybody? We are back. So in this video, I will be installing new graphics, custom graphics that I had designed and printed by 725 Designs. I contacted them on Instagram, pretty painless process. Dude did an awesome job. So to help with that process, this bike was, I could put a picture up when I first got it and it had those graphics on it. I took those graphics off and I put the stock style Honda 400EX graphics on that I got from my boy Cortland that has the yellow and black 400EX that I ride with. And then to get ready for this color change, I removed the blue stripe seat cover, put the purple on, uh, painted the handlebars teal, did the tusk uh, clutch lever purple, top of the thumb throttle purple, and then I did the engine mount, the brake lever, the uh, clutch lever and the whatever these things are teal now that is so because if you are a 90s kid or 80s kid I was born in the 80s I'm doing the Dixie Cup, Jazz Cup, Taco Bell Cup, Solo Cup color theme and as you can see you put this on the bike and then all of a sudden, those colors start to make a whole lot of sense. So, I've seen these graphics for sale for a dirt bike. I've seen them on a golf cart. And there's a Fox Body Mustang on Instagram that I follow that has the Dixie Cup, Jazz Cup, Taco Bell Cup theme. But I've never seen it on a four-wheeler, on an ATV. And I am excited to get it on here. Uh, I did finally get my purple and black shock covers in. So I'm excited about that. The only thing that stands out like a sore thumb is the red A-arms. And when I take those off to rebuild them, I'll be doing a combination of teal, purple, and maybe some white on those. But that'll be later on this year. So just don't pretend that red isn't there. But, what I'm going to do now is get these plastics cleaned up and get them prepped for the new graphics. So, to clean and prep, I have these sponges, I have uh, IPA wipes, isopropyl alcohol wipes, um, I also have this prep spray paper towels, microfibers, and then for application I have Windex or knockoff Windex. I have my plastic uh, applicators and my Harbor Freight heat gun. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the old graphics off that's only been on there for about two months. I'm going to get these plastics cleaned up we will get the graphics out. We can take the first look at them because the only piece I've had out is this piece. I haven't had the rest of them out. So when I get back, we will be taking these out. The plastics will be clean and then let's get ready to get that thing looking very good. And I hope my colors and my vision come together like butt cheeks because I cannot wait. old decals are off everything gets cleaned up so next what I'm going to do is that I'm going to spray it down with this duplicolor automotive prep prep spray and I'm going to be cleaning it with these lint free cloths let's see what these graphics are looking like uh, this is my first set of graphics ever and these will also be my very first set of custom graphics but I wanted a custom set that did not have any company on there so since no companies are paying me to advertise anything for them I won't be running Ooh. I won't be running their companies on any of my stuff. That's just a personal choice of mine. So I went with the Jazz Solo Cup, Taco Bell Cup, uh, Dixie Cup theme. Uh, 
on, let's get a look at this. And I went with the matte finish instead of the gloss finish because I just I like matte finishes. Ooh, look at it. Ooh. And this looks very nice. This looks nice. This looks nice. So I went with 2020 because that is when I started uh, uploading consistently on YouTube. Of course, I got my logo, Darius Bills. So I called my four-wheeler Barry White. So Barry is going to be on one fender. White is going to be on the other fender. And of course, it was designed by 725 Designs. So there goes their logo there. So I am liking how this is looking. I am liking it, I am liking it, I am liking it. So is this one side? No, because I see both sides here. I don't know where, and I gotta figure out where all this stuff goes. So I hope y'all are as hype as I am because I can't wait to get this on. Let's get started with something that will hopefully be something good. So I'll probably show y'all a couple of pieces or maybe like one side and then the other side I'll do off camera because it'll literally be the exact same thing just twice. So like I said, let's get this lined up pretty good. And we're gonna see how this this has like a like a divot in the plastics. And these are aftermarket plastics. So I'm not sure like how these diff how these differ from the OEM's plastics in all aspects. But Hopefully, it's not too far off. Uh, we did find out that my front fenders are indeed shorter than the OEM plastics. So hopefully there's not too many differences between these aftermarket plastics and the OEM plastics. I think next go around, I won't use as much Windex. But yeah, I need to look at my boy Cortland's 400 and see if his plastics have like this divot right here in the middle. But I think I definitely just put too much Windex on this first one. And this panel has some curves in it that would be beneficial if I hadn't put so much Windex. I don't trust myself to do a draft it up with these plastics. I like that I get uh, a little bit of room for air with a wet fit up.
I'm gonna do less on this one and see if it works out for me. I'm not gonna do as much. And I don't think the colors on this one line up. Well, I don't think I don't think the pattern lines up with anything. Oh, I don't think that's far. I don't think that's back far enough. Oh yeah, that fits better right there.
I did this one dry. It was a small piece, not a lot of curve. So just dry fit that one on. The wet application is definitely a little bit more pain in the butt. But I'll take that. It just gives me the ability for it to move around. So that is the rear fender. So let's do the front fender and then I will do the other side uh, off camera. But yeah, so far, not as bad as what I thought. And I see on the camera, it looks like more sky blue, but it's definitely teal. But yeah, this is easier than what I thought. Definitely time consuming, but easier than what I thought. So next up, we have the front fender. So the conundrum with the front fender is going to be that this fender is shorter than the factory fender. So the rear plastic, there, everything else pretty much line up with the OEM plastics, but the front plastics definitely deviate from the OEM uh, lengths and dimensions. So he has shortened this up a little bit, probably a couple of inches, and it seems like I might need to shorten it up a little bit more because I don't think I want it to come past this crease. So I'm going to get the front piece on, uh, the top piece of the fender, and then I'll figure out where I want to trim the bottom, and hopefully that doesn't mess up uh, the vinyl. But of course, since he doesn't have my plastics in front of him, you know, he can only do so. I gave him a measurement, um, and I probably should have gave him the measurement from crease to crease instead of from top to bottom. So let's get this top piece on, and let's figure out how much cutting we're going to do on this bottom piece, because it's probably going to be an inch or so, and hopefully try to make it halfway clean and uh, make it look halfway decent.
All right, so we can see if we line the graphics up that the graphic comes down below this crease line right here. So what I want to do is cut this so that it follows the crease line just slightly above it. and try to get that line to match up in some sort of a decent way. And like I said, this is not gonna look as clean as what it would if it came pre-cut. But again, these fenders are a little bit different from the OEM fenders. So, you know, we just got to do what we got to do to make them work and for them to look good. I don't think anybody would notice it, honestly. And if they do, oh well. So I think that is going to be good. I wish I could have got like that line to line up a little bit better with that angle. Uh, but you know, we can only do what we can do. So let's work to get this on and keep on keeping on. I probably could have done this one dry since it's pretty flat. I'll keep that in mind for when I do the other side. not too bad for a graphic that wasn't made for this fender you know like I said but unlike the stock fenders it doesn't have the cutout for the warning label and it's probably about two inches shorter so I appreciate him for doing what he could to get it as close as possible as what he can but you know doesn't look terrible doesn't look out of place it really looks like it was cut like that I just wish I could have got that angle uh, to match the dangle a little bit better but whoo this kit has a lot of pieces so looking at the looking at the printout there is a piece that goes right here that I need to get off the table and then I think at that point we will be done with the side and then we can do the front I think there's a piece behind the gas cap and there's a piece behind the seat so let me find this piece and this is probably gonna be tricky because it has a couple of uh, complicated curves and elevations to it all right so I lied there's a lot of pieces left to do on this side so I got the back piece I got this side piece I have the piece for around the gas cap 
that piece so that I guess it doesn't look raggedy plastic like the rest of it. My Darius Bill piece. My name and number plate for the front nose. Uh, where is it at? We have an upright piece. I thought it was one piece, but it's two pieces. So the piece that goes there and then stay. And then a piece that goes here. So let's just get on a time lapse and let's get this knocked out because I've been working on this for about two hours. So let's finish up the front. Oh, and then we have this piece that I'm not sure where it goes. So we'll figure it out once we figure out that we have a spot that doesn't have a piece of vinyl on it. So let's get to a time lapse and let's go ahead and try to get it done. So I am done with the left side and the front and I must say that it does look good and I think I've done a pretty good job considering that this is my first vinyl job that I've done. Will I do something like this on the 83200E? I don't know. I may just stick with new red plastics. Maybe some custom big red plastics like maybe I'll switch up the factory graphics but I won't be doing anything like a full cover like this. So so far everything is on everything looks good on the left side I did get this piece on I'm going to wait to install this middle piece because it seems like it's gonna overlap so I may end up trimming this down a little bit to fit in between these two pieces but other than that I have the entire right side to do and this is basically all the pieces to do one side. Minus this one, because I'm still not, I don't think this one goes anywhere on the aftermarket plastic. The aftermarket plastics must be just different enough to where it doesn't, it has, it has less space uh, here on the fender. So let me get these installed and I'll be back and the 400 is done and man this thing looks so good oh man like I've been wanting to do this design on something so bad and I finally have something with the design like y'all don't understand I've been itching I have been itching to do this jazz cup design this Dixie cup this Taco Bell cup design for so long and that's why I wanted a white 400 EX even if I bought one that didn't have white plastics I was going to spend the $500 for the white plastics because all along I had this design in my head but I needed white plastics to
to do it. And I'm so glad that I went with what I wanted to get what I wanted. The purple on the seat matches the purple I did on the test clutch lever on top of the thumb throttle. Like the teal, I thought the teal, I thought everything being teal was going to be too much, but it actually just goes in with it so well. The white hand guards plays off the white plastics. Like on the money. I got to do something with these ARs, but that'll be later on this year. So y'all, this is Barry. Barry, this is YouTube. Y'all get to meet him for the first time. He gets to meet y'all. So, like I said, this is pretty much done for right now. Like, I'm going to let it sit out in the sun for a couple of days. Kind of let everything get baked on so hopefully it doesn't come off. Uh, I did cut this side a whole lot better. I actually cut it with the angle of the dangle. Uh, so that actually looks really, really good. Um, I'm probably going to take one of my Dares Bill QR codes and put right there. And I don't know what's going to go right there. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Man, this thing looks so good. And I can tell you, there ain't going to be another one like it. And I feel like people see it. You know, the older generation is going to love it. The newer generation is not going to understand it at all. But man, oh. It looks so good. I cannot wait to see this bad boy out in the sun tomorrow. Because right now it is midnight. So and I got to go to work tomorrow. So everything that you do, think, build, and enjoy. Peace.